So we're here at a new trip. This is the Ecuador and Galapagos Island trip. And we're just outside of Quito, where the true zero is for latitude. Um, there's a bunch of different science experiments you can run, such as balancing an egg, uh, draining water, seeing the way it spins, depending on what side of the equator you're on. And uh, yeah, it's a really neat spot. Apparently for 150 years, they actually thought the line was uh, about 150 meters from here. But they eventually figured out with using GPS, but that was not the case. They just corrected it, and now they have a little museum built around it, which was actually where the locals had set up a lot of uh, very spiritual buildings. So somehow they knew the significance of where they were. Buenos dias! We are right now in Bella Vista, which means beautiful view. There's only five of us at the moment. We split off from the main group because we're right now volunteering with Me to We, which is an organization that helps communities around the world. And we're right now going to help the community here, which only has 262 people that live here, uh, 43 families. And we're not entirely sure what we're going to be doing right now, but it's a beautiful area. We're right now in the middle of the Amazon. This is my first time in the Amazon, and I can't wait to see what we're gonna do. We actually saw a healer earlier today, and he, uh, he took all the bad energy out of us, blow tobacco over you, they brush you with some kind of plant, and apparently that's supposed to help you uh, expel all the bad energy. So we're gonna see what we're gonna do in this village, but I'm absolutely loving it. I don't know what the actual group is up to right now, the group that didn't do the Mitui, but I can't imagine it's better than this. So we've been assigned our tasks. We are cementing a wall here in the school, one of the rooms that is yet to be finished. Uh, and the other group is sifting uh, the concrete that we are then using to sand the walls. Uh, it's a lot of work. Um, I'm sweating as usual, but it's been a good workout. And we're now on a water break, which uh, we definitely need. We've only been working about 15 minutes. Uh, and we've got the first coat done on our wall. And yeah, I'm already pretty tired, but it's worth it for a good cause. So we are uh, done the wall. Our uh, foreman is now finishing things off. Um, he's way better at it than we were, but I think in the end... We were possible, yeah, right? We were possible. I mean, we probably would have been fired, but... Yeah. <laughs> but, like, not at the beginning of the shift, maybe just at the end, because, like, you did good enough. Yeah. Um, you didn't waste all of our time, so... But, uh, yeah, it's a lot harder than it looks. Um, but, right, we started beginners, and we're gonna leave slightly beginners. better than beginner, yeah. <laughs> but still beginners, for sure. And I feel bad, because right now, he's kind of been doing everything, and we can't, uh, speak Spanish enough to know if he's mad at us, <laughs> or if he's just doing his own thing, so... We think he's happy with us. He smiled a few times, but he hasn't looked at our, uh, our in our direction for the last five minutes.
we are in a chocolate plantation, or rather a cacao plantation, and we're gonna get to try some real chocolate. Which isn't the first time I've done this on a trip, but you never get, you know, tired of doing it. And I think I'm gonna regret this decision, but all that? Yeah, it's tiny. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I've made this mistake before in South India. Uh, we're gonna try and see if it's a different uh, result this time. Did you eat the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> huh. Wow, yep. I, I it's had... still as bad. Oh, yeah. The, the juices just like shoot into the back of your throat and just start slowly going. Oh, you can feel it. I handled it a lot better than you did. I ate well. I ate the whole thing in one. Oh, you're right. You're <coughs> right. Are you okay? Oh. <laughs> Is there any water on this island? Uh, not any. You probably want to drink. <laughs> oh, I don't know what this is, but the lemon. Oh, <laughs> I just went back to worse. <laughs> so we just tried the hot peppers. What do you think? It is very hot. Yeah. <laughs> well, then it, they're chilies, right? Yeah. Yeah. Picante? No. <laughs> yes, they are very picante. Spicy. Yeah, very it was, uh, you can actually feel the spot where the the juice hits you in the throat and you can just feel it as it goes down your esophagus. It's not fun. Definitely an experience though. <laughs> not a good one. <laughs> it's absolutely incredibly pretty around here. Or as I've learned, Bella which means beautiful. Uh, it's absolutely Bea. I just roasted some cacao. Uh, it's bloody beautiful. What you want to do is just bring it to a simmer, uh, wait for the chocolate to really start darkening up, and then we're just going to pop it through the grinder. That was extremely Australian. <laughs> I just turned it up a little bit for the, uh, for the camera, you know? This is cinnamon. <laughs> we got to make our own chocolate. I probably put way too much cinnamon in, them, but I'm gonna try this for the first time. I put uh, some condensed milk, or I guess powdered milk, uh, some honey, some syrup, some salt, a little bit of salt, and a whole lot of cinnamon. Wait, you can just put that all together. God, this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be one at a time? Yeah, and then What? I've been I've been doing doing this wrong. Oh, Way too much cinnamon. Try, try it with the fruit. Yeah, I'm gonna put some fruit on this to make it uh, palatable. <laughs> Having a bad day when it comes to food. <laughs> you have new people coming every day.
us toward the edge without telling us what we were about to do, and you were the first to go. Yeah. And you just got dropped. And yeah, I was not expecting that. Oh, and from up there, all you see is someone getting dropped. I'm not sure you can see it uh, from here, but you can see right now they're leaning back. They're getting the photo taken, and they're just about to fall. It was terrifying, but it was a lot of fun. I'm glad we did it. Yeah. It's, this is just the first of what four activities we're doing today. Yeah, it's incredible. Action pack. Uh, up next is the zip line. And now we're doing the zip lining. So <laughs> this adventure filled day never ends. Getting a group photo, so I don't want to be late. We just walked across uh, a very rickety bridge. I think it might be too much adrenaline for one day so far, but uh, it's fun. It's just my heart is definitely racing a mile a minute right now, but I'm not done. I'm the first one up, so I got to go see the rest of the way through and find this really scary ladder. All right, well. I have a new winner for the most terrifying thing I have ever done in my life. I was the first one up. We had to scale all the way up and then all the way over this very high cliff. Um, some people are quite terrified of, of heights and I'm a little bit worried about them, but that was absolutely terrifying. I mean, you felt safe, but then you're always like, what if one of these handlebars come out? What if I unclip? Um, yeah, I guess if you're a thrill seeker, I recommend it. Um, they call it the advanced zipline course for a reason. Uh, I guess I just assumed it was for people who like ziplines more than others, but uh, I took a bit of a technical effort. Uh, not a huge fan. That was scary as hell. What is this? It's a guinea pig, it's a pig. Zero percent chance I'm eating that. <laughs> it tastes wrong. That's like, it tastes like it's supposed to be chicken or turkey. But it's gone sour. I've done a lot of adventurous stuff these last two days. I have done uh, the canyoning. I've done two different zip lines, but I am not doing this. Uh, I don't want to push my luck anymore. I still am wearing the good luck bracelet that I got when I was in Thailand. Uh, it's right here. But all good luck is bound to come to an end at some point in time, and this is not where I wanted to end in a place called bathroom. So uh, the adventure will continue. Um, we are heading to the Galapagos next, and Ecuador has been an absolutely beautiful country. Everything here is really green, it's very mountainous, there's volcanoes all around. It rains only occasionally, um, but the weather's been pretty nice. We've had a lot of warm weather. We've also had some nice cool weather like we have right now, which uh, I've actually preferred to some of the hot weather that I've experienced in places such as India and Asia. So, um, but yeah, we will see you next week. <laughs>